Alrighty folks, here in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the feed wheel and the um, drop belt on a Bell & Howe Super 8 projector. This is Super 8 and Regular 8. Right now you're seeing me removing the old uh, feed belt, or the old feed wheel, excuse me. The old one had been on there so long that it just turned to a black goo, and that's, that's fairly common with these projectors. I ordered a new feed wheel and a belt from uh, off eBay, eBay seller named uh, I Sell Projector Belt. So go check them out. I you see I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to get that old black stuff on my hands. Also, I'm using a paint can opener to scrape that off. I got some paper towels and uh, alcohol pads off to the side there. I'll be using the alcohol pads here momentarily to clean the wheel and there's the wheel after I removed it the old the old one um, see there how clean it is I cleaned it up with some alcohol rubbing alcohol and um, get it clean make sure you don't have no little black goo or nothing that dropped down in the projector you don't want that on any of your film or anything and here in just a moment I'll be putting on the new wheel But, um, yeah, double check, make sure you don't have nothing down in there. That's a good opportunity there to wipe everything out. Because when you get that black goo on your film, you will not get it off. And there is the remnants of the wheel. Oh, that's why I said you need pepper towels. And I'm um, rubbing alcohol pads. Okay, so here I'm getting ready to put the new feed wheel on. The uh, feed wheel went on pretty pretty easily. There's a little rubber feed wheel, or rubber tire, whichever one you want to call it. And it presses on there fairly easy. And there you go. That's the new uh, feed tire. Now that's in place and you're ready to run some film through the projector. Now in my projector it was running a little slow and it was starting to slip so I replaced the belt. So you want to remove those screws there. And those are 3 16 screws there on the front. You have two larger screws in the bottom of the projector. You have to remove to get the housing off. Here you see the old belt. You can see that it's really stretched there. And um, what I recommend doing is um, take pictures as you're taking this thing apart so you can have references of how it went back together. In order to get the belt on, you're going to need to take out the, light, the lamp, remove the bolts that are in the light socket, and those are 1 fourth inch bolts. When you remove those, you can pull the light socket out. When removing the bulb, make sure you wear gloves so you don't get no oils from your hands on the, on the bulb. When you remove that, that will also remove the little cardboard fan shroud. You'll want to remove that. And this gives you complete access to the two pulleys and the um, motor and fan pulley down there on the bottom. You can't see this too well because my big old arms and hands is in the way, but I'm feeding the belt around the motor pulley. I feed it around the top pulley. Then I pull it around to the side pulley and now I'm testing to make sure it's it's in line and it's on there good and do that there and if it rolls freely then it's, you're good to go now I'm going to test the projector I have it plugged in so you know I don't want to touch any of the electrical components here at the projector and I, I don't have the bulb in there right now there's the motor you see the little propeller fan there moving and there's a take up wheel moving at a good fast rate, and that's really what you need there. Mm -hmm. 
reassembling the projector is fairly easy. You just go back in the reverse process after you have took it apart and make sure everything's working properly. You can go back and just go in the reverse process of putting that projector back together. Thanks for watching.